Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Jacob Kaufman, I'm the Street, and today we are taking a look at the LXDE desktop environment. All right, everyone, so here we are on the desktop of Lubuntu, which, as you can probably guess, is the Ubuntu distribution that is customized specifically for the LXDE desktop environment. LXDE is a pretty simple desktop environment. The acronym actually stands for Lightweight X11 Desktop Environment. And as you can see, it works a lot like Windows. We've got a taskbar at the bottom of the screen and nothing much else. You can put things like folders and files on your desktop if you want to, but nothing is on your desktop by default. No trash cans, no recycling bins, nothing on the desktop. On the bottom right of the taskbar here, we've got a power button, and that will let you shut down, reboot, you know, do all the normal stuff. Next to that, we've got a clock which is currently set to 24 hour time, but I'm sure you can change that to 12 hour time easily. If you click on it, you get a nice simple calendar, nothing flashy as you can see. LXDE really does not come with a lot of eye candy. It's really just meant to get the job done. So we've got, yep, calendar there. And then we've got input controls. Not sure what this is for. Maybe if your keyboard is a special keyboard and has other languages, or if you need to be able to switch between languages, or if you have more than one kind of keyboard or something, I don't know. Next, we've got another language thing. Oh, yeah, keyboard layout handler. Um, so it looks like you can, yeah, use that to easily switch the layout of your keyboard. Next, we've got a volume control panel here, and that's, you know, nice and simple. Um, always good to have. As you can see, none of these really like lead to anything else. Double-clicking any of these or right-clicking any of these won't actually get you into any programs. These are all just um, kind of little widgets that come on the taskbar, and they stay on the taskbar. They don't do much else. Over on the left here, we have two virtual desktops by default. Once again, if you don't know what virtual desktops are, you can have different things open in each different virtual desktop. So we got you know, file manager open in this virtual desktop. Uh, Firefox open in this virtual desktop so that is nice because uh, we always like virtual desktops next we have a desktop button and if you've got Windows open um, once again let's open some windows then clicking the desktop button will as it says iconify all the windows it, it just minimizes everything so you can see your desktop just in case you really want to see your desktop picture for some reason and then you can either bring up windows individually or you can click the button again oh no actually you click it once to minimize everything, um, clicking it again will not bring them back up. And then it looks like it, it says you can middle click that. Ah, so as you can see, LXDE does have the option to shade your windows, um, which is bringing them up just to where they're a title bar and nothing else. If I can figure out, I'm sure I'll figure out how that works in a moment. But yeah, if you middle click your desktop button, then it will shade all of the windows and then they just unshade whenever you click them. Um, we've got the web browser icon, which Firefox is installed by default in Lubuntu. We've got the file manager icon, which the file manager in Lubuntu is called, let me get out of Firefox there. File manager in Ubuntu is called, if I can get to the menu, PC Man FM. So yeah, apparently just the developers handle this PC Man and they made a file manager so that's what they called it. Um, this is actually the file manager we use on our Minecraft server for Nerd on the Street. So, I mean, I've got some experience using it. It's a pretty simple file manager. As you can see, you can resize the window. It's not going to do much. It will, you know, wrap your icons and everything like file managers normally do. You can kind of see LXDE's window decoration here. It's really nothing fancy. Like I said, pretty simple all the window decoration it's it's just plain gray certainly doesn't look bad you know you can see there's like rounded edges on your when you're selecting things and stuff but yeah on the bottom of the bar here you can see this is not the most attractive desktop environment it's really more functional so you've got these little lines on the bottom of the window here um, where your mouse over cursor will change from resizing up and down to resizing diagonally. And we've got a sidebar here. Like I said, pretty standard, pretty easy. You can just, you know, eject things like that and you can click between your different your different places here, your favorite places. Um, you can also change that to a directory tree, which is nice cuz that's that's actually a pretty nice feature. I didn't know that was there. So, um, but yeah, if we go back to places, you've got your trash can there and you can right click that, click empty easily empty your trash can. So yeah, you can look through all of this. 
pretty simple file manager, like I said. And at the top here, you do have your address bar. So if you want to manually type something in, or it'll suggest things for you. Easily navigate your file system, so that's nice. So yeah, roll up or roll down if you click on the icon on the top left. Sometimes I talk about clicking on the icon on the top left. Sometimes I don't. But yeah, rolling up and rolling down will, yeah, just roll your window up into that title bar. Quite a few desktop environments have functionality for this. I don't see a huge use for it, but um, yeah, we've got the standard minimize and then maximize and restore and then close. So pretty simple file manager and pretty simple window decorations. Finally, in the bottom left corner, we have our kind of start button. I'm not sure what they call it here. They could just call it a menu apparently. Um, so yeah, we click on that and we've got Pretty simple. This is like the older Windows start menus. You just got your different program categories, um, and Lubuntu doesn't come with a whole lot of stuff, as you can see, uh, but it comes with a few items to get you going, so that's good. And then you've got your system tools preferences, so your settings are in the second section. Third section, you've got a run dialog, another thing that you see in Windows that I don't see in Linux a lot, but kind of handy if you want to execute a command without opening a command prompt or a terminal, then you can just use that run box. And then finally, we've got a logout button. So yeah, once again, LXDE is pretty lightweight. It is definitely the way to go. Uh, if you have an older computer, you'll either want LXDE or XFCE. Very light on memory usage. As you can see, it, it is pretty snappy, and it's running in a virtual machine right now. If you're looking for a distribution to install on older computers, check out Lubuntu or check out your favorite distribution uh, with LXDE installed. Let me know if you have any more questions or if you have any other desktop environments you want me to take a look at. I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm running the street, and I will see you guys later. See ya.